In a previous video, we discussed troubleshooting, removing, and replacing the micro switch assembly. If you've pressed down on the manual dump plunger and the micro switch is operating correctly, pressure is leaving the exit port of the micro switch and going to the diaphragm operated pilot valve, then you must move on to troubleshooting the pilot valve itself. One thing to note is that the pilot valve does not need to be removed from the tank in order to troubleshoot, but in some instances it will make it a little bit easier. Troubleshooting is quite simple once everything is disconnected. You just need a set of snap ring pliers and a small flat tip screwdriver. Once you have the snap ring pliers, take off the snap ring on the top cap of the pilot valve, ensuring that you don't allow the spring to snap out and hurt somebody or get lost on location. Once it's popped out on one side, you can take a flat tip screwdriver and gently walk the snap ring out of the channel and set it to the side. Then you take the top cap of the diaphragm operated pilot valve, remove it, check for any scarring, and then you'll inspect the diaphragm of the pilot valve itself. You're going to be looking for tears, twisting, holes, or any kind of distortion that's going to cause the pilot valve to malfunction. If the diaphragm and everything looks good inside, the next thing you can do is flip it over and remove the snap ring on the bottom portion of the pilot valve as well, maintaining the same procedure as the top so that you don't lose the snap ring. And remove the bottom cap and check to make sure that there is a spring on the bottom diaphragm of the pilot valve itself. If everything is in place and everything looks as it should be, then that diaphragm operated pilot valve is in good condition and should be in working order. If the diaphragm is torn or distorted or damaged, the only way to replace it on a quarter inch pilot valve is to order a new pilot valve. If you are working on a J7000 tank with a three quarter inch pilot valve, we have a repair kit that can be ordered and change out the diaphragm in the spring itself. If you're having issues getting the spring in place, one thing that can be done is this can be set into a vise and just gently squeezed on either end and the snap ring will snap directly into place. Once the bottom cap is in place, replace your top cap and replace your top spring. Once everything is back in place, go ahead and reinstall the pilot valve back onto the tank, making sure that you hold a backup on the top cap of the pilot valve in order not to distort or destroy the diaphragm inside of the pilot valve and retest your system. 